This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So I'm back with a little Krishan update. She said she was taking a little break, so she's on vacation. So while on vacation, she was asking for some beats. So maybe we will be getting some new music. And then we got a tweet that everyone has been sending junior gifts and that she couldn't wait to get back from vacation to open everything up. But Krishana has some advice for you. If you do decide to open some of the gifts while on live, turn your comments off. Just a suggestion. Then we have this post right here. She's at her house. I remember there were rumors that she got evicted. Well, clearly she was not evicted. She wrote, we woke up. Everyone is now speculating about whose hand that is in the post. But I have to cover up the B that the hand is holding. I got to cover it up with my teacup. She also shared the link to her 50 versus one with No Love Mar, which has close to 1 million views in two days. And see this little comment right here? It said, real ones know the backstory behind this one. Well, after Krishan did the 50 versus one, she also um, did, I believe, a 10 versus one with La Mike. And apparently, No Love Mar was upset that she was doing a 10 versus one with La Mike. And he came in and allegedly stole all of La Mike's equipment. And people were injured. It was actually really scary to watch. Krishan was even hiding. And uh, somebody got injured very seriously with a G. And they were actually waving around a G in the video that was posted online. Very, very scary stuff. So it was said that this person, No Love Mar, was going to be arrested. And there was this big thing. And from the looks of the video, I would think that he should be locked up right now. But obviously, he isn't. Or is he? Somebody tell me. But what is going on? Why is Krishan promoting this person after all that happened? Why is she posting the link? I'm wondering maybe it could just be the contract she had with the person that was a part of it. She got paid to do it and she also has to promote it. But it's just really weird to me considering what happened. And I can't play the live um, where she actually went on live right after the incident with the G on set with Love with um, La Mike. But I am going to play a clip of her talking about what happened. She referenced what happened during the 10 versus 1 with La Mike. So if you guys know what's going on, definitely feel free to fill me in in the comment. And please keep in mind, guys, that I'm not going to play the full Instagram live. I'm only going to play the portion where she talks about what happened at the 20 versus 1 that was hosted by La Mike. Oh, yeah. That 20v1 and the guy pulling out all that whoop do shit. Um... It's crazy because the nigga that got the whoop, I gave him a thousand dollars. Like, like when it was like the aftermath, nigga, I gave, I gave uh, the YouTuber that went through everything. He got all his cameras stolen. He was like, that was my last. Like he was really crying. So I gave him like five or six bands back in cash. Um, I don't know. I just me personally, I love on people, bro. Like I show mad love. Uh. I give out money like a motherfucker, like I, like that shit growing trees in my backyard, and uh, yeah, um, that's 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 what the fuck going on, and I don't know how to put this back in without it. Oh. But, um, and then the guy was like, can we shoot another video? I'm like, yeah, I'm down with it. I just gotta, 
Like, he either got to come to L.A. or he got to come to me. I'm not coming to him no more. And um, I won't charge him because I really feel bad. I, I don't know what was happening. But basically, like, the nigga, okay, first of all, the nigga that booked me before the day I shot with the guy that got robbed from all the cameras, we did a video. But I'm just in Atlanta picking up my, my money, bro. Like, I charged bro 25. And then you know the little nigga that just got robbed? He only 19. So I charged him off his age. I'm like, alright, 15, cool. And that's all he had, too. So I was always just going to do the one, the, the one nigga that gave me 25. Like, alright, cool. But when I'm in the mall and shit, and bro caught me, like, just shopping and shit, like, I got 15. And the only reason why I charged the 25 for real was because the travel, the stay, you feel me? So that's included. Um, but the little nigga, the 19-year-old that got robbed, he caught me at a good time, like, in the mall. And he like, I got 15. Like, you told me in my face, you got 15,000 just for me to do what, a YouTube video? And I'm like, I'm already out in the city, so I might as well just pick that up. So I'm like, fuck it. So I picked up that little shit, you feel me? And then um, I'm like, yeah, I got some shit in Baltimore to do with my son. And then I have to go to New Jersey for that show. So I'm just like, you know, I'm just over here on the East Coast picking up my money for real. But, um... And then the other thing is, y'all might see me back with, y'all might, might see me back with, I ain't gonna tell you what y'all finna see me back with, anyway, y'all just gonna see that shit, anyway, um, and in this portion, she talks about listening to her gut instincts and not taking Junior with her to the taping of that show. And I'm actually very glad that she listened to her instinct because, you know, that was pretty hellish what went down. When I was in Atlanta, and that's crazy, you I listened to my, uh, my gut instinct. So, y'all know I bring my son anyway. Like, not to know, like, no shit like that, but he he be in the same state with me all the time. You feel me? But this particular state and reason, it was funny as fuck. Like, before I got on my flight from Cali, uh, Marsh and Jane, they like, how you feeling? You finna take uh, Krishan? I'm like, uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like Rashad should stay home and I just handle this Atlanta trip. Who you be wooing? Right? I don't know how I put this nose ring back in. That shit hurts. See, I thought I was outside. I thought I was gonna be outside. I thought I was gonna be. The reason why I ain't saying that because I don't want to say it like.
Like now I'm playing y'all. Um, I ain't feeling. It's just funny as fuck. talking about so it don't even matter it's boring, anyway. but uh yeah uh it was crazy all right so you guys heard krishan speak on the 20 versus one with la mike she even talked about giving la mike some money back and also redoing the show that was so kind and generous of her she did all that because he got robbed but from what I understand, La Mike still hasn't even gotten back his equipment that was stolen. And he can't upload his show because that was stolen along with the equipment, allegedly. So why is Krishan posting a link to No Love Mars channel, the guy that robbed La Mike? I don't know. I'm thinking it's a contract thing and she has to post it regardless of what happened with the other show what do you guys think what are your thoughts thank you so very much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any hot tea for me message me on instagram i love you guys bye